Welcome to a quick hits on TechBlot 360 2012 R1. Our primary focus in, in this release was around exploration of external fluid dynamics and uh, the ability to seed stream traces on surfaces. So you can see I have a slice in the X direction which when I move to Z takes up the entire screen. And what we heard a lot was that people would like to constrain this so they can see what's going on uh, around the vehicle. So you can see that the domain is relatively large so we wanted to be able to apply a constraint. And so we built in the ability to constrain the slice around a domain and be able to con quickly build out that box. In essence, where are you constraining that slice to? And you have the ability not only to increase the size of the box, but you can also move where that box is located. So once the box has been set, you can see it's much easier now to look at the pressures coming off that wing. In addition, you may actually want to animate and so the animation capabilities pay attention to what you're showing on screen as well as uh, the both the interaction as well. So you can go in and out of it. So that's one thing, being able to look at an external aerodynamics very quickly. The other piece of technology that we wanted to address was how users uh, place stream traces. So in the case of this wing, we want to actually be able to look for separation. And we'll do that by applying a series of stream traces and we're going to apply them on the wing randomly. Now, what I did initially, I, I, you can see I actually created some volume lines. Well, this is actually just a surface, so it needs to be a surface line. And you can see if I hit Create, it will randomly seed 150 stream traces on here. And you can see it starts to identify the area of separation. Now, uh, TechPlot does take advantage of the number of processors you have. So instead of looking at 150, I'll go ahead and create 1,000. And 1,000 is going to take a few seconds. On my machine, I have four cores, so it will take a couple seconds, because ideally we want to be able to identify that area of separation uh, with a little more refinement. So you can see once the stream traces come up here, you can see that area quite well. So TechBot 360 2012 R1 has a number of convenience features, including stream traces and slices. 